Hello and welcome to the Aether Wiki. Today's episode is about the Sun God. The Sun God is the boss creature found in all gold dungeons. He is a large flaming body with what appear to be chains around his wrists and waist. As for his legs, he doesn't have any. He floats around propelled by fire. To start the fight, you must keep right clicking on him to progress through his speech. Luckily if you die, you don't have to listen to it again. He will merely say a line or two about your previous death. Weapons do nothing against him, but it is still vital to bring some to the fight, as he will send out minions which are affected by weapons. Bows and dart shoots appear to be most effective. If you come into contact with him, he deals 5 hearts of damage and sets you on fire, as is to be expected considering the fact he is covered in flames. He will send out 3 fireballs at once, which bounce around the room. If you get hit by one, it explodes, dealing damage and setting you on fire. The boss will promptly release another ball after this. Sometimes he will send out ice balls, which also deal damage on contacts but don't set you on fire. These ice balls are the only thing which affect the boss. You must hit them back at him to deal damage. If you do, he will send out a minion who will chase after you at amazing speed, dealing damage and setting you on fire upon contact. You must take these out quickly, and as previously mentioned, bows and dart shooters seem to be effective. If you leave the ice ball for too long, it will break and a new one will be sent out. Another way to send the ice balls back is to shoot at them with darts or arrows. This can work better than hitting them, as you don't have to get close to the balls or the boss, and it can be easier to line up a shot. It is advisable to bring a stack of ambrosium shards and the three water buckets to put yourself out with. The reason you will want more than one is because if the boss travels over water, it evaporates, and so if he travels over the source block, you will be unable to retrieve your water. It takes 10 hits with the ice balls to kill him. Upon death, he will drop a gold key. The chest will not reveal itself to you, you have to mine out the back wall to find it. You have a chance to find the best dungeon rewards in here, alongside other miscellaneous rare items such as gravitite armour. Thank you very much for watching, be sure to leave a like if you did indeed like the video, and leave any suggestions in the comment section below.